Like my name? So basically, someone asked me how do I use Medibang and I was like maybe I should do a tutorial on like these tools I use for like Roblox designing. So uh, first up, uh, when you download Medibang, I'm not gonna help you, you can find it yourself, but once you download Medibang and all that, you're greeted with a um, cloud feature thing. I use it to um, save it on cloud, it's useful where I can like go on my iPad and draw, stuff like that. Um, and you can sign up for um, a subscription where you can get more cloud storage and buy brushes, which s some of them I have. I'll I'll let you all know which is what. But anyways, once you click out of that, um, you want to go and open your template. So I'm gonna go open it. Now here are some important tools I use. First, the oh, I hit my mic. All right, here's the brush. I'm not gonna go over the brushes. I'm gonna leave a. T uh, I'm gonna do timestamps and descriptions. But the brush, uh, the you can erase. We got the move. I just take that and move. Okay. And then this one is a fill tool, which basically recently I've been using instead of the fill tool itself, or where I just like um, just color it in by clicking protect alpha, which is like clipping. Like I I rather I don't want to do all of that and make my brush big, so I just do this and fill it out with this lock thing and then you got the fill tool this one is a select tool so basically I want to select something and move it for example I want to like draw an outline or like you know, something like that and I want to copy and paste to make it symmetrical so I take the select tool and it's a box and over here and I delete it and I can select this one copy paste it oh by the way um, what I did right here is a transform image you can find it over at select and then you'll see transform this is the magic wand tool so basically, when you want to like select something, I'm just going to make a... Alright, <laughs> got my outline. Um, and I want to like just fill out this part and nothing else because... I mean, you can use the fill tool, but it's, it's not going to give you like you see all these splouches and stuff like that this is where the wand tool comes in handy also this tolerance thing is basically like if you know photoshop you want to get rid of your gr like green screen and try to make it like a transparent image and you don't want any like green stuff coming in or, or out of the image you're trying to cut out well, this comes in handy. This is the amount of like accuracy for selecting and deselecting. I use it for deselecting, so I'm gonna put it high. You can like do either high or low depending on what you have. And then it saves me more time than erasing these little things from here, you know? All right, the text tool, I can just use text. There's not much like fonts and you cannot download fonts from from the font and then put it there and you can use it. No, you can't do that. I haven't figured it out. And then the last one, I don't, mm, I, 
Well, um, there's a shortcut for that, but this one is also helpful. It's an eyedropper too, and you just select whatever color. Okay, cool. I'm gonna talk about Snap. Alright, so this is probably important um, when you're doing a straight line. Uh, over here, you got these tools. And if you can't find these tools, you, I think, yeah, you go over, um, yeah, you go over tool or window and you'll find whatever you need. But this is called snap. It basically is like what snaps in place. So right here I have this grid I selected and it's great for making these lines these straight lines and that's probably what you want to focus on or you want to make a I don't know whatever fucking reason you want to make a circle or like the neck hole which is ass but I don't do it okay so we got layers uh here's these layers there's lock this is the blending mode this is opacity and then to click to make a new layer you you click this one and then if you want to make like you want to organize it you take you select all of these and then put it in the folder and it's nice and neat so you don't have any clutters and then this is to duplicate your layer but i do copy and paste and this is the trash tool Alright, we're gonna go for brush settings. So, I have this um, pet, normal pen tool. And it has no pressure or anything like that. I'm using a mouse, like, it's not gonna do anything. So, it's just one. And sometimes I like to, um, when shading, I like to mess around with the opacity. And then we got our airbrush. And then uh, this one's not needed. I just have a little bit bigger brush to instead of like switching the width, like the size, I can just have this thing. Um, you need blur. I think this is free. Um, these are what I use to make my little details like these details over here like you can see the little sparkles like that uh, I don't think this one's paid this one is what I use for jeans like for the leg area if that makes sense like where they have like this washed up like texture so yeah I think that's it i think the the gradient the gradient uh, dot thing and my lace are paid also one thing to mention this thing right here for people who want to do hard line this will come in handy instead of using the dot tool you can just click the anti-analyzing and it'll become dots while you click on anti-aliasing whatever the hell I s that means you can make it like more um it's not defined but it's more like non like non pixely but yeah, that's my tutorial for Medibang. Uh, I'm also going to link this like template I have right here and textures I use. I'll probably put in my like Discord server. It's more easier that way rather than me posting on Twitter. So yeah, I'm probably gonna open up the Discord server link in the description and whatnot, and you guys can get it for free. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to like teach well, but I can try. 
Anyways, I'm done. Goodbye.